Okay guys, as promised, I promised I'd do light tutorials yesterday and I didn't do it, so today I'm, we're gonna do it. I'm making Kyle do it with me. He's excited to do it, Kyle. <laughs> but really quick, I wanna show you what we got going on today. So today is kind of like a fashion -y shoot thing. We have all these cool looking fashion things. Um, let me stop down a little bit. And the idea is we have this nice, cool, bright space. I love all the white walls. We have these windows going into their office space. We have some other big windows over here, which also, add to the daylight effect of the scene, which is nice. And the questions that I had as a camera operator, I was like, okay, I need to have, I wanna have some nice, good, natural looking uh, daylight feel, a little bit of a side light would be nice, um, some rim, but I wanna be able to move around because we have, today we're running the, I think I showed you this the other day, but we have the Epic overcranked, where is it, it's over there? And then I'm on the Ronin, there's, that's not, that's Kyle, that's a Ronin. Uh, so I wanted to be able to have, have for time wise, move around quite a bit, get the shots we need to get. So the lighting would have to be such that we could move pretty quickly between these different models and stuff. So in doing so, this is what Kyle did. Ready, go. <clears throat> uh, we set up a couple of lights and <laughs> <laughs> we- uh... Here, come show us over here. Okay, so we start with the, where's this guy over here? Uh, it's a big. Big LED source that we uh, kind of just filled in the room with ambient light, and uh, I put up a couple of backlight Kino Flow assist, Kino Flow lights. Where are you keying from today? Uh, we're we're actually mostly from the windows, but we're uh, we're fully backlit, so we're using a lot of the light coming through the windows. And then tell me about what this guy's doing right here. Uh, it's kind of just. Uh, Little little fill. Uh, there's a little shadow on their face, and uh, we needed a, just a little bit of light coming from that direction to fill in that shadow, and we set up a bounce. How about this guy, right? Wait, oh, oh, hold on. There, that LED. Uh, which LED? The little. Oh, that's uh, that's just kind of like an eye light. And uh, it's, uh, it's actually working to fill in a little bit from that side as well. Uh, but mostly just to reflect off their eyes. I also like how it's kind of giving a little more hard edge to that one side too. It was making it a little bit shiny. Yeah, a little Which bit. Which is small source. So uh, I'll just show you the fixtures because Kyle, he's, he's sleepy from lunch. So here's our little LED. This is the, the new. Less than film. Work watch. <laughs> this is the newer. Um, I can't remember how many LEDs. It's their bigger one. Uh, been I've been liking these lights. These lights. I need to do a little video on these. There's, they're all plastic. The color has gotten better on them over the years. They're super cheap. They're battery <coughs> operated. You can get DC power for them. They're probably the most versatile light you could get for cheap. And if you're careful with them, they'll last forever. Not forever. They'll last for a while because they're plastic. But. Anyway, and then we have our big, huge uh, Punch Plus LED out here, which Kyle's talking about going through some diffusion. And then for our tool rims, we have a Kino and a Kino. And um, oh, yeah, then there's our little fill right here, which is a Tungsten 1K going through full blue, bouncing off of a white card. And that's basically it. And we have some cool daylight, natural looking fashion stuff. That's it. I like it. Do you like it, Kyle? It's pretty, pretty simple. Oh, you ruined the shot. So. No. Okay, I'm gonna finish lunch now. Oh yeah, we were getting uh, also some cool time lapse and um, dollyish shots with that sucker. Okay, what time is it? That stack of jeans that are a little too tight just became wearable again. Say hello to Hot Hips. Whether your favorite jeans shrunk in the wash or you simply outgrew them, Hot Hips is the simple, smart, and discreet solution for an instant perfect fit. They're so comfortable and easy to wear, you'll want to slip into a pair of Hot Hips every day. Simply step into Hot Hips, lock them into place using the existing button and buttonhole on your favorite jeans, and that's it. You now have Hot Hips. The secret is in the patented button. Bend, reach, even stretch. Hot hips stay in place no matter what you do. I have a number of jeans in my closet that are just a little bit too small, so 
I feel like I have a whole new wardrobe. When I first tried hot hips, um, I just felt sexy because it kind of holds you in and it hits you right at the curb, so it's complimentary. The first day I tried them on, I really was totally sold because they're really comfortable and they stay in place, which is great. And then to anybody else, it looks like I'm just wearing a layered t-shirt, which is really awesome. You can adjust it to whatever size you need and you got a lot of room to work with. I can drop $150 on a really nice pair of jeans and it will last me a long time because no matter how my weight fluctuates, I'm gonna be able to put the hot hips on and wear those jeans. New jeans are expensive. Don't spend all that money every time you struggle to squeeze into your favorite jeans. Keep those jeans right where you want them, on your hips. Hot hips come in six classic colors. You can get one to match everything in your closet. And because hot hips are made of a durable, stretchy cotton blend, they move how you move. Show off those hips with hot hips. Hot hips are for everyone. Hot hips are available right now at hothips.com. Slip back into your favorite jeans. Go to hothips.com and get yours today. Ryan, you have a picture back there? Okay. Focus and we'll do it.